Hi, I'm Julie Magadan, Instructional Designer in the Center for Teaching and Learning at Phoenix College. And welcome to this tutorial over Grammarly, an automated proofreader and your personal grammar coach. The first time you use Grammarly, you have the option of going through a quick tour. I'm going to elect to skip the tour to show you the Grammarly options on the left side navigation. Use the My Grammarly area of the site to view all documents you have created, uploaded, and copied and pasted for grammar check. Use the Profile area of the site to see terms you have added to your personal dictionary, whether you are using American or British writing rules, and to view your account information, including the ability to delete your account. Use the Apps area to view the Grammarly browser extension, the Office installation, and the Windows installation. Use the Tutorial area to view short instructions on Grammarly basics, including creating new documents, editing text, how to export a formatted document, how to make corrections, what Grammarly checks are included, and document and desktop settings. Use this area to log out of your Grammarly account. You create a new document from the My Grammarly screen by clicking New. From here, you can choose a new document by a method of copying and pasting, by typing directly into this area of the screen, or by uploading a new document. I am going to elect to copy and paste content from a different area such as a Google document or a Word document. You will see on the far right hand side that the document is automatically corrected and changes are suggested. And later in this tutorial, I will explain what those suggestions mean and how to use them. Select the document type icon from the toolbar to choose the document type you want Grammarly to use to check your writing. General is the default, but you can choose academic, business, technical, medical, creative, or casual. Also from this area, you can choose the checks Grammarly is running against your document and click to toggle them on or off. These include contextual spelling, grammar, punctuation, sentence structure, and style. Correction cards are shown to the right of the text, allowing you to correct a mistake in one click. Click on the expand arrow to review an explanation of the highlighted text. Click to collapse the card. Click on the item to accept the correction and apply it to the text. You also can click on the X button to ignore a suggested change. When you scroll through your document, you may find items that have a plus sign next to them. Use the plus sign to add the word or phrase to your personal dictionary. At the bottom right of the screen, you will see a score out of 100. Click it to view a detailed report, including contextual spelling, grammar, punctuation, sentence structure, style, and vocabulary enhancement. Click Download Detail Report to download a copy of the report. You will also see critical issues and advanced issues. Grammarly includes plagiarism detection against internet sources. To enable it, click the plagiarism icon from the toolbar. Once enabled, you will see plagiarism checking across the top of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a percent matching showing unoriginal work. Scroll until you find an item showing unoriginal text. Click to expand it. Grammarly will show you APA and MLA in Chicago style formatted text to give suggestions for how to properly cite work. When you have finished making changes to your document, you can download a new copy. From the icon on the left hand side, click to download. It will open a new tab and it will allow you to save the file as a TXT document. 
save it in a safe place on your computer. Click the tab to return to Grammarly. If you want to start a new document, click the My Grammarly tab from the icon on the left-hand side. For questions about Grammarly, click to Support from the My Grammarly area of the site. This will direct you to support.grammarly.com. You can scroll through the general Grammarly questions, and from here you can submit a request for help. You also can submit a search for general support terms.